Hello, welcome everyone to Moments of Restoration. I'll pray for you that as this word go forth, that every area of your life that you need God to restore, we experience the restoration of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I want to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 that says that so he humbled you and allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna which you do not know nor your fathers knew that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the lord amen by the grace of God, two of the most powerful men that ever exist, as recorded in the Bible, said the same thing. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3, Moses said, Man shall live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said, Man shall live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God two powerful people saying the same thing that means they agree that this word is true praise the name of the lord the bible is saying that look if you want to succeed if you want to make progress if you want to fulfill your potential the only way you can achieve that is by living by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god now how do we achieve this every time we speak the word of god i want you to know that as a believer when you speak the word of god the holy spirit empowers that word and what you receive back is grace when you speak the word of god the holy spirit takes that word because the word of god cannot fall to the ground he takes the word of god and just like a factory he takes it through processing and what you get back is grace and grace is what you did not deserve so every time you speak the word of god you get a blessing back that you did not deserve which is grace and grace is something that is usually out of the natural remember jesus speaking the word of god the word to lazarus who was dead and in the grave the dead came back to life it was not normal for the dead to come back to life remember the story of jesus and peter when it was already morning and jesus was telling peter cast your nets and peter was complaining we have toyed all night that means that by the time jesus was telling him to cast his net it was already morning so peter was not really expecting to catch anything but at the end of the day he cast his net and he got the result of grace so every time we take the word of god and we speak it forth to our circumstance you are trusting god for healing in your body speak the word when you're trusting god for financial breakthrough speak the word when you're trusting god for increase speak the word when you're trusting god for healing speak speak the word the holy ghost is our helper and he makes sure that you get grace in return so it means that if man shall live by every word that proceed out of the mouth of god if i live for 20 years and i was declaring the word of god and i stopped declaring it when i'm 20 and let's say i live till 90 i actually stopped living when i was 20 because grace stopped flowing to my life the moment i stopped declaring the word of god which is when i was 20 years old for you to continue to get access to the flow of grace to your life you've got to stay on the word and continue to declare the word because this is how you live praise the name of the lord it's something that have worked for me and i, I believe that it can work for you too praise the name of the lord because i believe that god has abundance of grace available for everyone the bible says that he is rich unto all who call out unto him praise the name of the lord so you and i must ensure that we make that opening available for grace to flow into our life man shall live so i take the word of god every day i speak the word of god into my life i speak the word of god into my future i speak the word of god into my home i speak the word of god into my finances i speak the word of god into everything that pertains to me and i believe listen to me and i believe that the word that i spoke is the word of god and by the time i finish speaking the word of god 
what I get is abundant of grace flowing to my life. Praise the name of the Lord. So this week, I want to challenge you. Every circumstances and situation that you are facing, speak the word. When you trust in God for breakthrough, just say the word. And he says that when you say the word, grace is going to be released because the result you will get is not a natural result. It is supernatural. And anything that comes from the supernatural is a release of grace. And I guarantee you that this week is your week of release of abundance of grace. Grace will be released in your way. Grace will be released in your home. Grace will be released in the lives of your children and in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to invite those who have not accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Because the Bible says the letter kill it, but the Spirit give it life. So if you do not belong to the way, if you have not accepted Christ, you belong to those who are just reading the letters. But the moment you become born again, you receive the Spirit, then you receive the life of Christ. And so every time you speak the word, you become a prophet because every time you speak the word, you get result. And that result is what we call grace. This week, as you go out and you speak the word, the grace of God will be released upon your life and you will experience total turnaround. This is my desire for you. This is my desire for everyone I come in contact with. This is my desire for the world that every single one of us shall experience restoration. God bless you. I'm Pastor Bankoli Emmanuel from the Evangelical Church of Yahweh Mendemiri. Land. I wish you a prosperous week.